Now we're going to go over how to download and set up Zoom um, on your Windows computer. If you have a Mac, it's going to be pretty much the same. The installation part is just a little bit different on the Mac, but you can still kind of follow along on these steps. Um, and as long as you follow what your computer tells you, you'll be fine. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is open up your browser so we can go ahead and download Zoom. Now I use Chrome. If you use something like Microsoft Edge or something like that, um, don't worry, I'll go over um, the slight differences that there are when downloading. It's really easy. It's just you click a, a different button, but it's very easy. So we'll go ahead and open up Chrome, and I'm going to search for uh, Zoom download. And just I'm just doing a normal Google search here. And... Um, we're going to go ahead and click this link that pops up that says Download Center. And so this is where we can go ahead and download it. And we're going to want to download the Zoom client for meetings. So I'm going to go ahead and click Download. Now this URL I'll go ahead and put in the description below on the video. That way you can just get right to it if you need to. So now, um, if you're using Chrome like I am, you just go ahead and click on the file here that uh, downloaded. If you're using Microsoft Edge, um, you'll actually see a couple different options, um, a couple different buttons. You'll see one that says Run. Just go ahead and click Run, and that will go ahead and run the installation process for Zoom. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Now this part can take a few minutes. Um, It'll eventually pop up with the screen here, um, the install screen, and it'll go through that, and that'll take a little bit too. So just be patient because it does take a minute or two to go ahead and download. So you can see now it's um, going to go ahead and install um, Zoom for us here. So once it's installed, you'll see it'll pop up here on your taskbar at the bottom. If not, you can go ahead and go into your start menu and you'll find Zoom all the way down and it'll be there. But we'll just go ahead and click on this. Now you see a couple different options here. You have join a meeting or sign in. Um, we're just going to go ahead and sign in first to make it easier. So from here, um, if you're doing this through your company and your company has a, created a Zoom account for you, you're going to want to make sure you go ahead and log in with that information that they they gave you for the account. Not to log into a meeting, but um, to sign in for an account if they've given you one. Um, if not, um, you can go ahead and sign in uh, with different options. You can do set up for free down here, but we're just going to sign in with Google because I have a Gmail account. It's just the easiest um, and pretty secure way to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to click sign in with Google and it's going to go ahead and take us to a web page here um, and ask us to sign into the Google account. So it's going to pull up. I'm already signed in, um, but if I wasn't, it would just ask you to sign in with your username and password for your Gmail. Um, if you get to the screen like I did, um, and this is not the account you want to use, you can click use another account, and it'll ask you to sign in with the username and password for that Gmail. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on the one I'm already signed into. It's going to go ahead and log me in. Now, I've already created a Zoom account um, with this email, but if you haven't, you'll get a screen that pops up before this one that says, do you want to create an account using that Gmail account? And you'll click yes, create account. After you do that, you'll get to this screen. Um, and here you can click launch Zoom or open Zoom. Um, and it'll open Zoom automatically. If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and just go to your desktop and open it normally. But it's going to go ahead and open here. And it may take a second or two to load in and get you signed in. So once we're signed in here, you'll see this is the normal screen. Um, you can start your own meeting. Um, you can join a meeting. Your settings are here. Your account um, information is up here. You can sign out, things like that. Um, 
So that's how you go ahead and download Zoom and set it up on your computer and get signed in. Hopefully that helps.